Yeah. All right. So they take pictures or something. Yeah. Do we have the airport just take pictures? We don't have to. Good. <laughs> Anywho, so we're in line for prom. Yes, that's right. We're going to prom. Never been to a prom before, so first time. Great. Kevin, how are you feeling about this so far? Man. Enough said. Man. A lot of beautiful looking girls and dashing looking girls. Hey. And there's a mirror. So I guess I'll see you guys. Or if something interesting happens, which I'm really hoping for. I'm hoping for like a fight or something. Or maybe somebody will grab a microphone and like announce their feelings for some guy. Like high school movies? You know what I'm talking about? He knows what I'm talking about. Alright, later. I just got done dancing, and I'm kind of tired. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. The Bass and Beyonce. This is the place. So we can hear each other. What? What am? Wait, what? Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. So we're all just kind of sitting here because they keep playing slow songs that, and none of us can work up the courage to really ask anybody. So we're kind of just sitting here making a little chatter, but we can't really hear each other due to how loud it is. So we have to scream. Hey, hey party people. Okay, we're on a new mission to try to get Kevin to dance. And he's a difficult one. He holds on to the table. He won't make the slightest gesture. All he does is bleak. <laughs> it's really difficult. So we've tried picking him up. He just holds on to the table. We've tried dancing all around him to make him look like the best dancer ever. Like 20 minutes, but he wouldn't move. This is very difficult, people. Uh, and he's, he's doing a lot more head motions now. We've at least got that established. That's so. Yeah, a little improvement. You know what we need? A black chick. <laughs> we need some girl over here. But where will we find one? Oh, wait. There's a C. There's a C. Uh, okay. Well, if we get a solution to this, then we'll come back to you. Later. All right, so we're now leaving prom. As you can hear, they're playing poker face, so you know it's going to start slowing down right about now. And we wanted to get out before everybody got out because it would have been really crowded. Plus, it's a long drive back to my house. But we'll talk about how we felt about prom when we get to my house. All right, hey there, party people. Um, say day after prom, it's 12:40. In the afternoon, I came back to my house. Kevin spent the night and whatnot. A brief, like, summary of what you didn't see, because obviously it had to put you down in a way at some point. Okay, so let's see what happened. Okay, as you saw, we first waited in line to, like, vote on prom queen and king. I took a picture. Kevin decided not to. Um, then we went inside. I don't think I got a shot, but they had a snack area where it was just, like, a whole bunch of dessert-type foods and some fruits. Um, let's see. I got some of those, and then apparently Kevin had run into somebody we knew, and I didn't hear him say that, so I went to another table. Went to the table and started eating, and then he was like, he waved me over, like, oh, Rose is here too, and I was like, oh, okay, well, everybody's over there. So I picked up my tray, and I went over by them, and I put my tray down, and then we started talking about stuff and things and blah, blah, blah. And then they played dance, the single lady's song, and I started dancing. And as Kevin explained, how did, how did you explain my dance? It was an explosion, is what he said. Uh -huh. um, so, did that, and I really wore myself out, because I, like, used up a whole bunch of my energy. So then I had to sit down. I was basically wobbling for the next 15 minutes. We started talking, 
and basically a good portion of our night, as I explained before, was spent trying to get Kevin to dance. And so, mm-hmm. now, it, in the end, we kind of failed at it. Mm-hmm. I've learned a lesson, so mm-hmm. no more trying to get him to dance. Mm-hmm. Or I might try like twice, but then mm. I get up, give up really early. Chris of the future, give up really early because it's not yeah. worth it. Well, I think I could have danced if I didn't know anybody. You could have danced if you didn't know anybody. Yeah. Hmm. News to me. Okay. So I should have to use that in my next ploy. Any hoozle. Then I think they played the Cupid Shuffle, and me and Rose went out and did that, which was hilarious because Rose. When she danced, it was like, uh, how do I explain? It was cute in a funny way. It was like, because it would say, okay, you know how the Cupid Shuffle tells you how to do the dance. And it's like, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the... Well, it tells you four times. So she would only go three and then stop. And so she would be waiting there until the next line. So I was behind her trying to tell her what to do next. It was funny. Let's see. Oh, I got dragged onto the dance floor twice. Once by um, Ronisha and Lexis, which was really a weird dance, because I had one on my left and one on my right, and we were like trying to do the whole waltz-ish dance, but it didn't really work, because when we ended up spinning each other around, we just ended up stuck. Friend Jackie came over, and she, okay, this is weird, she dragged me onto the dance floor saying she was going to dance with me, but then we got to the dance floor, and I started trying to dance with her. She was like, I can't dance. I can't dance. And I was like, come on, Jackie. Just Can you move your hips? Can you lift your shoulders slightly? It doesn't take that much, people. Snap your fingers. And then after all, like, three, two, three to two minutes trying to convince her to dance, she said she, it was too hot, and she decided to go sit down. Took a picture with Janice. She looked very nice. Actually, most of the girls looked very nice. Some you couldn't even recognize because of how much, like... Makeup and beauty stuff they had put on their face, mm-hmm. but it was it was good beauty stuff. I, I give it to them. That was great stuff. They played, um, you're a jerk, and I danced to that with Tracy, Brittany, and Sarah. That I call Sarah, but her name's really Jamie. Yeah, I don't. She looks like a Sarah to me. That's why I call her Sarah. Did tried to do it. Tracy really knows how to jerk, but I tried to. It just looks like I'm skipping backwards. Like I would get it once in every five seconds. Like I'd be like, oh, I got it. Oh, there it goes. Uh, I got it. Oh, no, there it goes. And then Brittany, like, she would try to do it, but she was wearing one of those long dresses, so she had to, like, pull it up slightly just to get her feet to move. And she almost had it. Mm, talk to Rose and Kevin. Then Rose left. Oh, wait, yeah, before the last, uh, before, like, f- like, I want to say, like, four or five minutes before we left, I went and decided, okay, you know what, give up on Kevin. I'm just going to dance at least one more time. And I went out on the dance floor and I started dancing, and it wasn't so much dancing as just hopping up and down. Cause, hold up, what was this song? Meet me in the mall. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Okay, so they had they were doing that whole dance, and I tried to join in on it, but I mean I was in sync with them, but at the same time they were doing this one like up and down hopping motion that I couldn't do for some reason. So I just started doing the thiz dance, and I thought it, I had fun doing it. So. But then I, like, went down once and came back up, and, like, a smell of mush just went up my nose. Like, somebody had punched me with the smell of stank. And so, I I just turned around and went back to the table. That was the night. Then we left. So, it was fun. I I enjoyed it. I mean, could have been better, could have been worse, but, hey, it was good times. At least it was an experience, and that's something. Now I know what to look forward to next year. Yep. Later.